Hey guys, welcome to today's Vehicle Visionary. My name is Tom Tompkins. I'm the host and the founder of Vehicle Visionary. And thanks to Orr Cadillac here in Shreveport, Louisiana, I am going to introduce you to the 2020 Cadillac Escalade Platinum Edition. This is Red Passion tint coat on this particular model. Love the color, love the pinstriping on the side, the gold pinstripe. This is an absolutely stunning vehicle. So let's start our tour of the 2020 Cadillac Escalade Platinum Edition. Now the first thing you're gonna notice is a lot of chrome on the front end. The Cadillac badge right here in the center of the chrome grille. And you have LED headlights. Headlights right here, the blinkers are down here. Overall, it just has a nice stance and it looks nice. I like what Cadillac has done. You know, there's not really any design changes for 2020, but still a fantastic looking vehicle. And here under the hood is the 6.2 liter V8, putting out 420 horsepower and 460 foot-pounds of torque. The engine is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. You will also find sound deadening material underneath the hood to help keep the ride a little bit more quiet, which it is incredibly quiet as you'll see when we go on our test drive later on. Another great feature of the 2020 Cadillac Escalade Platinum Edition is the fact that it has magnetic suspension, which means that it literally, it within just fractions of a second, is going to adjust to the conditions of the road that you are on, helping the ride to be consistently comfortable. And moving on to the side of the 2020 Escalade, of course, I love the gold pinstripe on the side. You have 22 inch wheels. Set this vehicle off nicely. You have power folding side view mirrors. So not only can you adjust the mirrors automatically with the switches on the driver's side door panel, but you can also fold the mirrors in as well. There are three different switches right there that allow you to choose whether you're adjusting the driver's side or passenger side mirror, or if you push the button in the middle, you're going to fold both in or unfold both and bring them back out. A lot of chrome trim here on the door handles, on the side, and around the windows, as well as the rack on the roof. Of course, you do have the antenna up here for satellite radio, for navigation, and all of that functionality. Another great option that I like here is passive entry. You have it on not only the front doors, but the rear as well. So what's gonna happen is you're going to push the button one time to lock all four doors, and you can also unlock all four doors by pushing the button twice. But here's something that I like to point out that is so convenient if you ever get into a situation where you've unlocked the front doors, but you go to open the back and find out that it's not open. If you find yourself in a situation where you didn't unlock the back doors, but you need to get into the back seat for some reason, you don't have to open the front door or push passive entry right here a second time. All you've gotta do is push the passive entry button right here and the door is going to unlock and you can open it right up. And moving on to the rear, of course, you do have the deep tinted rear windows that start on the rear doors on both sides, come around to the window and all the way around to the rear. You have the gas door right here that all you have to do is push that to open it up, makes it so much easier to access the capless fuel fill. And of course the large LED tail lights and reverse lights. You also have a third brake light up here and underneath the spoiler coming off the roof right here is a rear wiper to help keep your rear window clean. Now speaking of that, let me show you a few of the different features back here on how you can open the rear lift gate to access all of the storage and what is in the rear of your Escalade. Now to open the rear lift gate, you can reach right here. There is a button that you can push that's going to automatically open and you can adjust the height. This is open fully or you can do three-fourths. There's a button on the interior. I'll show you where that is on the screen right now. And you can adjust that and you can open it 
from there too. You can push that button to open or to close the rear lift gate just like I just did. You also have the option to do so from your remote, the key fob as well, not only for the lift gate itself, but if you just want to open the glass for some reason, that is available as well. Let me show you some of the interior features here that I think you're really going to like on the 2020 Cadillac Escalade. Okay, coming into the rear of the Cadillac Escalade, you do have storage right here in the center. You just lift this up and you're gonna reveal some storage right there. Put a few things in there. You've got four different tie down areas plus two extra tie downs on the back of each seat. Now, you have a 12 volt outlet right here if you need to plug something in. But one of my favorite things is that you can let down the center seats. This is a seven passenger vehicle. So you can let down the center seats with these two buttons right here. You just push those and the center seats are automatically going to fold down. Now you don't have the ability to raise those back up automatically, but you can do it manually. However, these very rear seats are lowered by these rear two buttons automatically and they are raised back up automatically, greatly increasing your cargo space. Okay, moving here into the back seat, this is, like I said, a seven passenger vehicle, two in the front, two right here, and three in the very rear. Now, it may be a little bit challenging for adults to climb all the way around these seats. There is a space here in the middle to do so if you wanted to do that but you can manu manually, I should say, pull up on the lever on the side of these seats right here. It will allow the back of the seat to fold down, just like with the button in the rear that I just showed you, but there's also a strap on the back of the seat that you can pull on and allows you to fold the seat completely forward, allowing for a nice gap to access the back seat to get in or to get out. You also have four air conditioning vents up here for your rear passengers, two for the middle passengers, and two for the rear passengers as well. And all of that functionality for the air conditioning back here in the rear of the Escalade is controlled right here on the rear of the console. You also have a couple of USB ports, a jack for a iPod. You also have an outlet if you need to power any kind of a power tool and you have several, actually a, a couple of 12 volt outlets as well. One thing I do like back here on the rear doors, and it's actually on all the doors of course, is the nice wood grain trim matching the nice tan interior here and the chrome door handles. You also have a couple of grab handles to make getting in and out of the Escalade much easier. Additionally, there is a DVD player here in the center allowing for your passengers to enjoy a movie when you're taking a long trip. And here in the interior, of course, you have the same nice wood trim that matches the interior color here, chrome door handles, you have lock and unlock buttons, and here are the buttons I was telling you about earlier for how you adjust the side view mirrors, power windows all the way around, and you can lock or unlock those at your discretion. You also have the switch here for controlling all of your lights. Down here on the bottom is the parking brake. And here on the steering wheel, we have the turn signal and the functionality for the windshield wipers, front and rear wipers here on the left side turnstock and of course the shifter on the right. You also have the controls for using cruise control and on the right hand side you have everything for controlling the radio and surfing through everything on your instrument cluster that you may wish to change and there is a lot there. Let me tell you a little bit more about what's going on here in the center. Of course you have heated and cooled cup holders, a couple more USB ports, another 12 volt outlet. You also have a nice large console here. It has a nice little cover on the center tray there if you want to use that. Wireless charging for your cell phone. You also have remote, or I shouldn't say remote, but push button start stop. So you don't have to do anything but have the remote in the vehicle or in your pocket and you're in good shape on that. You also have a sunroof right here. And right next to the button that controls the rear lift gate that I showed you earlier are the switches for opening and closing the sunroof depending on what you want. Of course you have a heated steering wheel, 
heated and cooled seats. The seats are automatically adjustable for the driver and passenger in the front of the Escalade. And you have two different options on your rear view mirror. You can have the more conventional rear view mirror, or you can pull this little lever down here on the bottom and actually use the rear facing camera to let you see what's going on behind you with your rear view mirror, depending on what your preference may be. Let's move on to the infotainment screen and I will show you what is going on there. And just a real quick tour of the infotainment screen here. Of course, this one right here on the far left is gonna be for the radio. You can adjust the volume and all that. And you can do all that underneath here too. Everything can be adjusted either on the screen or right here beneath the screen for the radio, the air conditioner, all of that. If you want to pair a phone, this is what you're going to push right here. And then of course you have your maps and navigation. And this is AC on or off right here. Turn that off, which don't think I need to do that for very long. You can control the fan speed right here, up or down. We're gonna leave that kind of low so we don't interrupt the sound of the video. And finally, you can pair a device, which this vehicle can take on several different devices, iPads, cell phones, and so forth. All right, guys, here we are out on the road for the test drive. This is a nice vehicle to drive. I really enjoy the way it drives. It rides really well. We don't have the best roads around here in Shreveport, Louisiana, so I like the way it rides. If you've never driven a vehicle of this size, you know, one thing I really like about it, there's multiple features that make this vehicle very easy to get used to and very easy to drive. You have lane keep assist, you have lane departure warning, you have front and rear uh, or front collision detection, and you also have rear cross traffic alert. And you can turn those things off and on. There's switches in the interior to do that if you ever want to. I'm not sure why anybody would want to, but those things are available. And like I say, you have blind spot monitoring, which is in the side view mirrors. I'm showing you that on the screen right now. But this is a very easy vehicle to drive. And I think that anybody who maybe hasn't driven something like this before, uh, this particular size, it's not hard to adapt to. It drives well, like I say, it rides well. The 420 horsepower is gonna allow you to get down the road very, very easily. It does have the trailer towing assist package with it, which makes towing a trailer obviously very easy. And I like the fact that you can adjust the mirror according to what you want. Because I have to admit, it does take a little bit of getting used to if you have the mirror set like I do right now with the rear facing camera view coming up on the rear view mirror, basically acting as a screen, or you can switch that back to a more conventional rear view mirror, but I do like the fact that you don't have the back seats and everything in the rear to basically kind of be an obstruction to look past. You don't have any of that when you have the camera, the rear view camera as your rear view mirror. So just some of the nice options here with the 2020 Cadillac Escalade Premier Edition. And that ends my time with the 2020 Cadillac Escalade Premier Edition. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to share it on social media. Make sure to subscribe for more videos and hit that like button. If you didn't like the video, hit the like dislike button, I should say two times, very important. Leave me a comment and let me know that you were here. And again, I would like to thank Tripp and his staff at Or Cadillac in Shreveport, Louisiana for loaning me this vehicle for the day. Make sure to check out their website. The address is on the screen if you are in the market for a Cadillac and they will be happy to take care of you. Located here in the Northwest Louisiana area. 